All right, I'm back. Um, <laughs> I've been away for a while, and uh, I first want to apologize for that. You know, some stuff in my personal life has prevented me from doing this as regularly as uh, as I wanted to. But uh, I should be able to hit these daily vlogs again and uh, do the, you know, weekly vlog stream thing. Um, I want to fire back up a variety of projects. There's a lot of stuff I want to do that I haven't been doing for a while. So there's, there's, there's stuff in the works, you know. There's stuff that, that, like, I should be able to start getting back on, proverbially speaking. So with all that being said... Uh, today, I thought I'd talk about a thing that a bunch of, um, let's just say, surface-level people are very enthusiastic about, but that, to me, seems kind of nightmarish. So, <sighs> this Bitcoin City project, it, uh, it doesn't bode well for the future of Bitcoin. Now let me let me be real clear and specific and say like I don't have a problem with mass adoption of bitcoin. I want mass adoption of cryptocurrencies in general. But if a government is controlling a significant amount of it, that gives them sway over bitcoin influence uh in general. It also uh, allows them to control centrally a significant amount of the blockchain. Um, and what that basically means is that the government will keep an updated copy, uh, if not many updated copies, of the fucking blockchain. And why does it matter, you know, if, if there's people who are using this as legal currency, legal tender. Um, Because that's what El Salvador has been doing. This Bitcoin city is going to be in El Salvador. And the whole buzz behind El Salvador is that they're making Bitcoin the national currency. But what does that mean? Well, it means that the currency that El Salvador was previously relying on will no longer be the national currency. The primary currency will be Bitcoin. And what that means is um, everybody's transactions will be visible to everyone in the whole world. And what that also means is that these transactions will be much better trackable because they'll be attached to KYS on a very direct level. That is not good for privacy, for freedom, for anything like that. But for some reason, this fact uh, escapes a significant amount of people. So what are they doing with this Bitcoin city? Well, what what the brag is, you know, <laughs> I, I, I can't verify that this is going to happen, but what the brag is, is that there will be 0% income tax, 0% capital gains tax, 0% property tax, 0% payroll tax, 0% municipal taxes, and 0% CO2 emissions. Now, that sounds real good from a libertarian perspective, don't it? But, let's say a bunch of libertarians get attracted to this place, right? Because what this place is planning to do is fund itself buy Bitcoin, and that's why they don't need taxes. Because the initial bonds that will be issued to build the place, uh, which will be a circular city designed to be like the new Alexandria and designed to look like a Bitcoin symbol from the air. The way that this will be funded is Bitcoin-backed bonds, which will be paid back by VAT, So it's still taxed. It It's still taxed. And it's still a government. And what that to me means is that they're trying to lure in 
liberty-minded people to say, hey, come in here, and this is something they literally said, and make as much money as you want so that they can better track those purchases. So that they can see all those purchases in real time. Now, yes, there are ways to obscure Bitcoin transactions. 100%. But the closer, the more people get to KYC, the more people will be directly tied to individual transactions. And it will make it vulnerable to the kinds of things that allow investigators to weed out those uh, transactions that are muddled by uh, services like Wasabi. So, I feel like this is libertarian bait disguising dystopia. And that's fucking bad. Um, and I feel like the entire country is basically that. Like, a lot of people in liberty communities are, like, migrating to uh, Central American places because it seems like a hub of freedom. And some of them are. But I would say the more national a currency gets, the less free that currency is. I fucking wonder why I would feel that way. Almost like, you know, if they start primarily having Bitcoin mined by government officials and the Bitcoin stability uh, is, is created by the government knowing everything that happens with it, and being able to actively monitor addresses attached to known citizens for any sort of activity they oppose. It seems to me that kind of fucking strips the point of Bitcoin out. Unless the point of Bitcoin is to uh, have the, the, the Bitcoin billionaire mindset of I'm going to make a shit ton of money using Bitcoin, and that's why I like Bitcoin. I mean, yeah, sure, if that's it, go crackers about it, sure. But, like, that ain't it for freedom enthusiasts. That ain't it for libertarians. But the zero tax thing that's literally a neon on this fucking advertisement for it, um, that was literally in a banner behind the announcement... That is libertarian bait, and they're hoping it circumvents your fucking brain. They're, they're hoping it gets around your defenses so that they can lure you in to this fucking country and to this fucking city where everything is known centrally. Isn't it funny that a city which could be a panopticon is round? Am I crazy? I feel like I took crazy pills and the rest of the world is sane because everybody else seems to be cool with this. Um, but for some reason, the, the thinky parts of my brain are kind of exploding about this and saying maybe we shouldn't be building a big-ass round city where everything is known by the government. Yeah, I mean, it might, it might be easy to have 0% tax if you can just make all your money off VAT and mining fees because your government built um, zero CO2 emission uh, plants for Bitcoin based on geothermal energy uh, from local volcanoes. Which, by the way, if those ever go off, enjoy a significant amount of destroyed Bitcoin all at once. Just saying, you know? I mean... I, I just, I feel, I feel like this is vulnerable. I feel like it's all vulnerable. And I felt like it's vulnerable for a while now. But whenever I bring it up in certain libertarian circles, they're just, they, they claim that I'm like, you know, trying to shit on a good thing because that's all I do or whatever. And okay, maybe... You know, I am the most aggressively negative person on Liberty Twitter. 
I still love that title. It still works. I, I, I'm going to keep that title forever. Like, I don't even remember who called me that. But when he did, I was like, awesome. Uh, because sometimes you need some aggressive negativity in order to weed out the bullshit. And this is some bullshit. And, and you know why I really care? Because I don't live in El Salvador, right? You know, and I'm not these libertarians. If people want to go hang themselves on the ideology that anything Bitcoin related is automatically freedom, anything that seems to reduce taxes uh, is automatically freedom related, uh, they can do that if they want. Uh, I'm not them. It's not my wallet. It's not my freedom. It's not my life. I'd kind of prefer them to not waste their time and efforts on obvious freedom traps. But you know what? If they want to, that's up to them. But the real reason I kind of hate this is because it's a portend for the future of Bitcoin. If these people can successfully prove that you can run an entire country on Bitcoin... And if they can start to prove that that's not only sustainable, but that it will draw in the same sorts of people who would hate government overreach and invasions of their privacy normally, then they prove that they can just use some weasel words and some propaganda to get people involved who otherwise wouldn't be. Ain't that grand? I just, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like this is a portent for the future because if they can prove that, then what's to stop the EU from doing that? And cutting off people's access to, you know, basic services if it seems like their money is linked to something they don't like. You know? What's to stop that? What's to stop the U.S. from doing the same thing? Didn't get your jab? Hey, let's, let's cut off that guy's life. Let's alert all the social media companies attached to his crypto bank account because it's no longer really crypto. It's just a distributed ledger. If this model works in El Salvador and then spreads to the rest of the world... It will completely betray the principle of Bitcoin, the initial point of it, the initial users of it. It will subvert. But all the crypto sites love it. You don't see criticism of this on most of the crypto sites because it's Bitcoin going big. And they like it when shit moons. They like those numbers to go up so that more people subscribe to their site and so that they can get more revenue. So they don't talk about this. They don't talk about how fucking insane this is. And you know the worst part about it? I write for Agris Nexus, and I have articles proving that the U.S. government is switching to a cryptocurrency-like alternative to cryptocurrency, which is centrally managed and privacy-free. And if this model works in El Salvador, and if it quells libertarian concerns by letting them pressure release to over there, uh, then the U.S. government will have less libertarians to worry about while they muscle in their new dystopic panopticon of global surveillance that they'll be able to put anywhere based on blockchain-based identification systems and blockchain-based uh, Fedcoin, digital dollar, central bank digital currencies, whatever they want to fucking call it. They'll be able to do that because people left them and encouraged it and celebrated it. You kind of see where I'm going with this? So, like, yeah, maybe this could be good for some people's freedom. Maybe. If, uh, if we lived in an alternate universe where the state 
was suddenly fine and ethical because it's in El Salvador. If suddenly governments have no moral hang-ups or anything because it's El Salvador, because, you know, suddenly the state will represent the people and reduce all these taxes and then not use a system that could obviously be abused to abuse the people in this alternate universe where pigs fly. Yeah, this would be great for freedom. But is it? No, it's not. It's bad for freedom and the more governments can watch these transactions, the closer they get to them, the more KYC is applied to more of these coins. Especially directly where there are surveillance cameras around Bitcoin ATMs uh, everywhere where you have to have a phone on you, by the way, in order to spend this stuff. The more this happens, the more surveillance capability they will have and the less freedom we will have. And the more global and widespread it becomes, the more normal it will be for people to mock people who want real freedom for saying this is bullshit tyranny. It's fucking hilarious how many people don't see this. It's trending right now. Bitcoin City has been trending like all day. People are celebrating this. I'm not. And and I don't think I'm that insane for not celebrating it. But uh, if you look at the vast majority of crypto Twitter, they're all fucking uh, this emoji a lot. This is how freedom dies to thunderous... Uh, It's just, I'm tired of seeing people make sacrifices in this regard. There are ways to be free right now. And if you want to make sustainable Bitcoin energy, you could do that right now. Put solar panels on your house. You know? Fucking get a, a wind farm. They make them smaller, cheaper, and more efficient by the day. I saw this one that was like an egg beater kind of thing, but like spirally, and it did like massive amounts of production in tiny spaces. The more people decide to just do this stuff, the less they require a government's approval and sanctions, the more they can build in privacy by default instead of having it be an option later on down the line, while it's a completely open ledger, the more people do that sort of thing, the more free they can be now. But people require government sanctions. People require government permission to say, this is a national currency now. But that's anti-freedom. National anything is anti-freedom. I'm not sorry. Nationalism is a fucking disease. And when you can get nationalist fervor for a centrally managed open ledger that basically removes privacy from everybody uh, to everybody, that's... I don't understand how it's not more obvious that this is a massive honeypot but this is a massive honeypot. And don't think for a second that this is going to reduce the amount of laws in El Salvador. Don't think for a second that they won't use the massive amount of new revenue from all these VATs that are coming in from all these tourists and businesses that suddenly want to open in this zero tax environment that's not really zero tax. Don't think for a second that um, 
that they won't increase the amount of laws there so that they can still prosecute people and justify yet greater fucking monetary extraction. It's still a government, for fuck's sake. Like, maybe I'm overlooking some major flaw in my position. Please feel free to tell me what that is. You can download this on a real cryptocurrencies uh, site, Odyssey, or library, and you can just make your video response to me telling me why I'm wrong. But I don't think I am, and I, I just, I feel this ache in my bones, this dull ache that says, we've been here before, and it didn't go well! But you know, maybe I'm just insane. Um... Maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Tell me. Tell me in the comments. Tell me anywhere. I don't give a shit. The point is, I wanted to get this off my chest. And, um, yeah. Maybe even destroy some people's hearing along the way. Anyway, <laughs> if you like this uh, for some reason, feel free to like, share, subscribe, etc. Whatever the button is on whatever site this is posted to. It doesn't matter. Um... <laughs> For more extreme negativity, please feel free to follow me everywhere. And uh, if you want to support this, feel free because I'm back. And uh, expect a lot more stuff like this because a lot has happened since I've been gone and it's only been months. <sighs> Our freedom is losing so much ground and people are cheering. <laughs>